Professor Lucio seems to travel light. The Baroness's luggage takes up half a freight car. A small, delicately made corner cupboard could house a bar or perhaps washing facilities. look like myself. I'm not as good as the Raven slipping into other roles. He's had decades to perfect it. Whatever. It'll be good enough for the people on the train. The sink. The sink. No, that won't help me now. Professor Lucien hasn't slept a single night in the cabin yet. The towel is unused. Twisted it. Then I'd have a sort of rope. I don't think that the suitcase or the bag contain anything that could help me out. I'd better leave as little evidence as possible. give up easily. It was the only window that was open at the station, so it was a good way to get onto the train, and now it might be my only way out. It was the only and now. The window to the right should be the Baroness's cabin, and the one on the left is the saloon car. The roof could be my escape route. Ugh. 
it's secured with a heavy padlock. I'm not bad at picking locks, but I don't have my equipment with me, and everything's rocking and moving in here. Given these conditions, it'd take a while to pick the lock. That makes it too risky. The safe is guarded by my old friend, the Bobby from London. Even he would be curious to see a conductor in the freight car. The safe is guarded. Even he would. The ladder leads. I should be able to move about freely in the train as long as I keep away from Professor Lucien. The other guests don't know me, and conductors change several times during the journey. A new face shouldn't seem suspicious to anyone. Young man? Uh, yes, sir? Uh, tell me, when did they switch to self-service on the Orient Express? Should they not have informed the passengers about that in advance? Uh, forgive me, sir. I was... And what about my bag? Hmm? Did your colleague find it? I'm sorry, sir. I, I don't know. I expected as much. There will be consequences. And now, bring me my coffee. Of course, sir. Swiss Army knife, a gift from a good friend. Beer, wine, champagne, gin, brandy, and whiskey. <laughs> the richest snobs take the same medicine as the poorest slobs. Huh, a dish with old people's candy. Butterscotch, I think. Huh. Butterscotch. I prefer fruity, sour flavors. Sour puts a smile on your face. It's not good that he's so upset. It'll make it more likely that he'll remember me and be able to describe me later. Reception is surprisingly good here in the mountains. A small portable. I won't be able to use the radio, but the antenna, on the other hand, a thin, short metal rod that can be extended. Something like that might come in handy. Several special keys on the keychain. 
This one should open the cabin door from outside. Lucky for me that I have the key, and the people outside don't. That way, the locked door will keep them at bay a little while longer. Let's see. It fits! Huh. A lot of odds and ends. A hairnet, batteries, a half pack of cigarettes, an unused toothbrush. The bartender probably has to serve as a jack of all trades, like a concierge in a hotel. So, is there anything useful? Here we go, a small shaving mirror. No, I don't need anything else. Even pigs get to drink from the finest porcelain. There's still some coffee left. with the doctor, I might blow my cover. So I'll have to grin and bear it and serve our esteemed passenger his coffee. Gentlemen, do you know what the problem with people like you is? Um, you mean our lack of a sense of duty, or our skin color, or a lack of respect for our elders? <laughs> we have so many flaws. He didn't even want to hear why it took so long to get his coffee. He just wanted to tear into someone. Just wanted to assert his will. It's a sad life if you have to pump yourself up by deflating others. Some people that need a drink to steady their nerves doing what I'm doing, but not me. I want a clear head if I'm gonna get this envelope onto the safe. Zurich, and she doesn't look like someone from Nancy or Basel. I'm guessing she boarded in Paris. Uh, she seems familiar somehow. I've seen her someplace before. Maybe she used to be an actress, and I recognize her from photos. She has the confidence of someone who doesn't have to prove herself anymore. She's rich, that's for sure, but it's not just that. I've seen her some... She has the com... The younger woman seems to be some kind of carer or companion for the older lady. I wouldn't like to be with her all day long. She radiates a certain restlessness and unease. I know people like that always have to be doing something. They feel useless if they don't have anything to do. I feel sorry for them. I better not talk to her. Her eyes are intelligent and observant. Something tells me I'd only make life difficult for myself if I try to pull the wool over her eyes. The elderly woman's carer can't keep her hands still, so she's knitting. Bring you ladies anything? Is everything satisfactory? Everything is wonderful, young man. Very good. Got it. I think Professor Lucien is still in the hallway, trying to get into his cabin. I better wait until the coast is clear. Not bad at picking locks. 
but I don't have my equipment with me, and everything's rocking and moving in here. Given these conditions, it'd take a while to pick the lock. That makes it too risky. Should do the trick. It sticks. The butterscotch is stuck to the back of the mirror. Okay, the candy is so sticky that it should hold the mirror without any trouble. <laughs> As I expected, it sticks. the freight car with fresh air. It also seems big enough to climb through. I'd say I found my way in. Before I open this, I have to get an overview of the situation in the car. Knowledge is power. If I just open the porthole, the guard might see me, and this adventure would be over before it starts. is directly beneath the ventilation shaft. I could shimmy down the shaft and hit him on the head from behind. Uh-oh. Are you okay, Robert? Tell your report, sir. At ease. Any suspicious passengers come aboard in Zurich, sir? Hmm. Not really. It could be anyone and no one. But we've received support from the Swiss police. A certain Constable Zelda. Oh. Very motivated. Might get on her nerves. That limits my options. I can't overpower two people. I don't think I'll be able to slip into the carriage unseen after all. Oh, there has to be a way. I have to keep Inch happy. How do I get you onto the safe? Or on top of it? The safe is directly beneath the ventilation shaft. And Inch said something about a blackout and a tunnel. I could use the moments of confusion and darkness to toss the letter onto the safe. Might work, as long as I manage to open the ventilation shaft and choose the right moment. Before I open this, knowledge, if I just open... The cover has two hinges on the back. It's possible to open it, but the two screws on the front hold it closed. Cover has but the two. The cover but the two. 
Before I open, no, if I just... two hinges on the back. It's popped but the two screws on the front. The Grand has retired to a dark corner, and the Bobby is hiding behind some boxes. Le Grand obviously set a trap for the Raven. Unfortunately, the Raven knows. Is that what this is about? Does Inch just want to mock Le Grand? Before I open this, I have to get an overview of the situation in the car. Knowledge is power. If I just open the port... The cup, but the... Before I open, no, if I just... Before I open, knowledge, if I just... Before I open, no, if I just open, before I open, no, if I just... I hope not if I just Hey, my pistol! You'll get it back in Venice. Frightening me like that. I could have fallen under the wheels. I thought you were a ghost. Ghosts don't exist. They do too. One just flew past my window. Be off with you. Oh, man. Ah, I can use these. Phew, that was close. He left the lock open. How convenient. This is too easy. screws on the I could unscrew the screws but I should only open the cover inside the tunnel What was that? that on the floor. Yes, sir. That was close. If the second screw makes that much noise, it's over for me. No way. If the 
second Nat also hits the floor, Legrand will know that I'm up here. My only option will be to jump from the train. that anything really changed down there. No way. If the second... My only... Before I open it, if I just... The cover has two hit, but the two screwed... But the, there are seven lucky. right through me. The ventilation shaft is a more realistic option. But to be honest, I only give myself a 50-50 chance of pulling this off. Anyway, time to get to work. I don't think I need anything else from the toolbox. And if I do, I know where to find it. should have been able to open the door with pliers. I think the coast is clear. I assume Inch is also in the compartment. He'll probably find some excuse to sneak out to trigger the blackout and engage the emergency brakes. No idea how he expects to pull that off. He usually leaves me in the dark about such things. Even after months of partnership, he still doesn't trust me completely. Just a few more days, and I'll finally be rid of that creep. And until then, he has to burn in his own personal hell with the Baroness. A nice thought. Obviously, they managed to open the door. I wonder who or what the archaeologist thinks locked it. Did he connect it to the burglary in London? Uh, probably not. Professor Lucien is on his way to Cairo, just like the Baroness. They both know each other. She chairs the Friends of the British Museum Club. I hope he's too shaken up to leave his cabin until we reach Venice. Huh. Is this a Stradivarius or something like that? If it is, maybe I should take it with me during the blackout. With any luck, I'm going to be a happy family man soon, and I'll need a few francs, lira, or marks. Self-control. Side jobs always lead to complications. There are enough unknowns in our plan as it is. No need to add more. The violinist was already on the train in Zurich. Handsome devil. I'm glad my girlfriend is here. She loves to make me jealous. And once I'm raging mad, she leans forward and whispers one of those phrases that only she can say. He seems to be worried about something. So much the better for me. If he's absorbed in his own problems, he won't be paying attention to anyone else and won't be able to offer good testimony to the police. Still in the Swiss Alps. We should reach the Italian border in half an hour. Some maps. 
info for travelers, some pictures, and the schedule all neatly hung up with magnets. Some maps. Uh, won't work. There's a lock at the bottom of the window. different routes the Orient Express took in the course of its long history is larger than the other notices and thus hung up with larger magnets. <laughs> I'll take one with me. Some of the photos are rather nice. Professional work. Climbing over the coal car is the only way to get into the driver's cab while the train is moving. I can't imagine Inch climbing over it to trigger a blackout up front. I bet he paid someone to do his dirty work. Inch almost never takes personal risks, and usually he tries to keep his hands clean. but it's still strong. I'd like to believe that it's important, but Inch would probably... The wool string isn't particularly strong, but it should hold the weight of the magnet. and my passport that I need to fill out in Venice. Blank passports are easy to get. A lot of people in Italy after the war needed new passports. They couldn't go to the authorities. A wrench from the toolbox should be useful. Should. What? The light's gone out. 
Flashlights. Ah, get off me. There, sir. An envelope. My dear Nico, you should take a closer look at the box. Ah, what the dickens? It's... it's... A Away with it! Take cover! What's the meaning of this? What do you want here? What was the point of the bomb? Isn't that obvious? I wanted to dispose of Legrand as spectacularly as possible. You almost disposed of me as well. Did I not tell you to deliver the letter and leave immediately? People could have died. But of course, that was the point of the bomb. I don't want to hurt anyone. You know that. And you know that I don't care what you want. Obey my orders and nothing will happen to you, and you'll soon be a rich man. I won't blindly obey orders anymore. I want to know what the plan is. You know as much as you need to know. We will steal the second eye in Cairo before the eyes of the world. The theft of the first eye got everyone's attention. Legrand's death would have increased the excitement immeasurably, but this will do just as well. We'll have a showdown instead. The Raven versus the Inspector. That should also electrify the press. Why are you doing this? I thought it was about the jewels. Why are we making life difficult for ourselves and attracting so much attention? It's about more than that. It's about performing on the greatest stage of all. About the end of a legend. You'll see when it's time for you to see. Until then, just do as I say. And what if I just leave? You knew who you were dealing with the whole time. I don't have time for your hypocrisy. You always knew who you were dealing with. If, for your peace of mind, you have to pretend to be innocent in this situation, so be it. But we both know that you begged me to let you in on the heist. And in this business, one must get one's hands dirty. But James! James! Where on earth are you? During the trip, we'll keep a low profile and steer clear of Legrand. I, uh, I lost the ticket and the fake passport. I swear, if my arm was still good enough to climb, I'd have disposed of you long ago. Ah, well. I'd prefer that no one see you while you're on board. Smuggle yourself on board and stay under cover until Cairo. Okay. And no more games. Nothing that Legrand, the police, or anyone else could do to you compares to what I will do to you if you don't follow my plan. James! There you are. Is the inspector to carry my luggage onto the ship all by himself? He thinks he knows me. He thinks I'm stupid and weak. I have him right where I want him. Here's a young thief who'll show an old timer how it's done. Even if it means a bit of solitary confinement.
I hope the dock workers have left the cargo hold. I better just take a peek. Or at least I'd take a peek if it were possible to open it. This trunk is built like a coffin. I'm lying on a pile of clothes. Different fabrics. Some rougher, some softer. This one feels like a fine net. No, I don't think this will be much use. Huh. Feels like metal. Angular. I think it's the trunk lock. There are small round bumps with slots in the middle. Could be screws. There are small... You probably have to pull a handle to unlock the trunk from the outside. No one thought about making it possible to open from the inside. You probably have... You probably... Okay, where's the screwdriver? Uh, huh, knife? Uh, there's the screwdriver. So, if I just turn this... Aha! Kidding me! Seems to be a strap for holding something on the shelf above the trunk. <sighs> Unfortunately, I can't reach the clasp. The stuff over there doesn't look like it was recently loaded. Probably part of the ship's inventory. Two metal pipes, stable, about 10 meters apart. The ship may be showing its age, but those pipes look more than sturdy enough. The ship may... Tools and spare parts, I'd say. It's fastened tightly, and I can't reach the clasp. And then it'll just tie itself around the pipes? Not gonna happen. A robust strap with a metal clasp. The ship may... There might be something in that box that could help me escape from the trunk. Of course, it would be more helpful if it weren't out of my reach. The ship may be... Sh hmm. All right, then. I'll just drive the blade through the end of the strap. The knife isn't stuck firmly enough in the strap to endure a throw. I'll pull it out and try my luck with the metal clasp. Oh, brilliant! Hopefully the clasp won't slip out of the box when I pull the strap. Pipe rolled up against the shelf, but it's still out of my reach. Ugh, I can't reach it. The pipe rolled. Not a. Ch Ugh. The pipe rolled up again. How's that supposed to work? The strap won't tie itself around the pipe. The pipe rolled.
not a chance. The pipe roll. Hmm. It's worth a try. Ta-da! The pipe seems to be pretty durable. But is it tough enough to break open the box? No gap. No point of leverage. The ship may be showing... Uh, that should hold. My best chance. Steady as a rock. <laughs> Elegant. Tie him up, and then get out of here before they start looking for him. And I already have an idea where I can hide. I can't imagine they could just leave. Yeah, and without saying goodbye either. No need to be frightened, young lady. What are you doing here? I wanted to see you. This is hardly the time or the place. What happened on the train? Nothing, nothing bad. Everyone is fine. Inch is dangerous. I warned you. I know. That's why we're being careful. And you have a smart and handsome young thief at your side. And humble, too. Don't worry. I'll take care of you. What have I done to deserve a luck like this? Inch bothers me. He's shown what he's capable of. What if he finds out about our plan? How would he? We're careful. He's more ruthless than we expected. The bomb on the train. I don't want to think about it. We need to make sure that we stay calm. You mean that I stay calm? I'm not worried about you. I know you. Shall we go over the plan one more time? Good idea. We know that Inch hid the first eye in the Baroness's luggage. I'll break into her cabin and replace the eye with a fake. Right. We'll steal the second eye in Cairo. And Inch will be caught in the act. <laughs> it's simple. The devil is in the detail. I have to get into the Baroness's cabin undetected, then find the secret hiding place, 
And I can't leave any evidence behind. Yes. And Inch said something about a combination. So the hiding place might be locked. One step at a time. I think I'll assess the situation first. And I think I'll make myself comfortable for a little while. So this is how married life will be. Works for me. Everything went according to plan in London? Except for the explosion, yes. The Bobby was right on time. Because he had a good tip-off. I had enough time to take the eye, but unfortunately there was no time to replace it with the fake. Where is it? A work of art. Almost as beautiful as the original. I can't tell the difference. Inch could. But if all goes to plan, he won't have a chance to take a closer look at the jewel until after the burglary at the Egyptian Museum. Will the Grand cause any trouble? Everything's still going according to plan. That means he's clever, but not clever enough. And the Bobby? Peasant's cunning, nothing more. He won't be able to solve the puzzle on his own. There's still Inch. He doesn't suspect anything. We laid the foundation well. I've been his assistant for months already. He doesn't trust me, but he thinks he can play me for a sucker. That's enough. Speaking of Inch, I saw him talking to you in Venice. What was it about? He was angry because his attack on the train failed and because I lost my ticket. How did you get on the ship? As a stowaway, locked in a cold, dark cargo hold. Poor boy. I'll go out now and lead the police and master thieves around by the nose. I can think of something else to do. I can't. I have no idea where Inch had the fake jewel made. But it's amazing. Even someone with as much experience as I have has to look twice before realizing it's a fake. I'm sure I could help you if... Stand aside! If you told me what you're looking for. You're just getting in my way! Now get out! I'll wait at the door, madam. Yes, yes. Oh, Miss... Mayors, can I help you? No, I'm just having a look around the ship. Good day. Oh, that was close.